The minimum program requirements, or in short, MPRs, are the minimum standards and characteristics that every LEED project should meet to pursue LEED certification. MPRs state if a project can pursue LEED certification or not. They provide guidance on the types of projects that are eligible for LEED certification, protect the integrity of the LEED program, and reduce the number of issues that arise during the certification process. They define the types of buildings, spaces, and neighborhoods that a LEED rating system is designed to evaluate. There are three MPRs. MPR number one, every project must be in a permanent location on existing land. A project that is designed to move at any point in its lifetime is not eligible for LEED certification. Since the significant portion of LEED's credits are dependent on the project's location, the certification is awarded according to that particular location. Prefabricated or modular structures can be LEED certified as long as they are installed permanently. It is important to locate the projects on existing land to avoid artificial land masses which can displace and disrupt ecosystems in the future. MPR number two, projects must use reasonable LEED boundaries. The LEED project boundary must include all contiguous land that is associated with the project and support its typical operations. These will include the landscaping, septic or stormwater treatment equipment, parking, sidewalks, and even more. Any project space cannot be shown excluded in order to give the project an advantage in complying with credit requirements. In addition, the gross floor area of the LEED project should not be less than 2% of the gross land area within the LEED project boundary. The LEED project boundary is defined by the platted property line of the project, including all land and water within it. And according to MPR number 3, projects must comply with project size requirements. All LEED projects must meet the following size requirements according to their rating system. For LEED BD plus C and LEED O plus M rating systems, projects must include minimum 1,000 square feet or 93 square meters gross floor area. For LEED ID plus C rating systems, projects must include minimum 250 square feet or 22 square meters gross floor area. For LEED for Neighborhood Development Rating Systems, projects should contain at least two habitable buildings and be no larger than 1,500 acres. And for LEED for Homes, projects must be defined as a dwelling unit by all applicable codes. A dwelling unit should include permanent provisions for living, sleeping, eating, cooking, and sanitation. The Lead for Homes project should also refer to the Lead for Homes scope and eligibility guidelines as well.